Indiana, Western Michigan, game number one. By you, Cream, fielding a normal roster of Coda, Mario, and Sheb. Skirt is out there first for Western Michigan, battling in the midfield. Here comes J-Bar up in the air. Can he have to touch down? No. Skirt tried to connect with him, but Mario is there. We saw Mario just two days ago. Stellar defense holding off uh, the Indiana University side uh, from being able to get scored on very easily. And teaming up with Coda now trying to finish off that play. J-Bar will tip it up. Skirt can get there first. A touch gets past Cheb. Back into the corner is where that goes. Coda trying to break out. J-Bar is there to lock IU Cream in their own half. Trying to look for a way to break out. Skirt to the backboard. Cheb deals with it easily enough. Coda over to the right side. Wins the 50. Here comes a passing play potentially broken up by Gengar. Not out of the woods just yet. Mario up high. Needed to dodge the bump. Would have been a dangerous position for IU Cream had Mario been bumped. Good awareness to avoid that. J-Bar down to the side wall. A 50 with Cheb is lost, but it goes back towards Gengar. Air dribbling, trying to kill some time. Mario just waiting for him. Now Cheb will have a bit of space to work with. Gets it past one. He's going to have to go low. Jump back up again. He's going to be a bit slow. Skirt. Notice an opportunity to challenge. J-Bar over to the side wall. Gengar is there to meet him. Cheb with no boost trying to break out. Gets the 50-50. Gengar is there first. Back to the midfield where Mario is waiting. Into the corner now. Back and forth. First couple of minutes. Both teams just feeling each other out. Gengar fakes it past Cheb, but he's got no boost to work with. All he can manage is one touch up high. Mario was playing it well. It's the midfield now. Gengar, a scoring opportunity, a slow shot on net, dealt with by Coda. Mario tips it out. Coda with no boost, just tries to get it past one. Indiana spending a lot of time on their own half. No goals conceded for either team just yet. Coda looks to link up with the Chab on the left side. Skirt versus Mario, one on one, and Mario has it away to safety. Another shot by Gengar on net. Western Michigan unrelenting in their pressure. But here comes Cheb. Could he change things for IU? Almost puts it on target. The set up a nice extended offensive pressure for the Hoosiers. As they have now found some real estate in the orange half. Cheb with a demo onto Gengar. This could get dangerous for Western Michigan. A pass out middle towards Coda. Not able to come into contact. A breakaway chance for Skirt. Half a tank of boost to work with and using it well. Gengar was there to try and cause some chaos on the goal line. With a big challenge win downfield. A pinch off the corner. Coda a bit late to the play. Indiana forced to retreat. Cheb off the left wall. Tries to link up with Mario in the midfield. This one's awkward for Coda. Has to make the read and he does quite well. Cheb getting a demo. Mario as well. Trading out with J-Bar. Plenty of action here. 90 seconds left to go. The challenge went on to Mario. Bumps Gengar off the play, though. That could invite Cheb into the play. Can Mario finish it off? He's going to get an easy one. Just what you were looking for if you're IU. A bump onto Gengar, and Cheb just has to put that one into the midfield. He can shoot that one, or he can pass it over to Mario for an easy tap-in. 1-0 IU. Off the kickoff, Coda approach cheat. Will send it into the orange half. He gets the boost steal as well. Gengar, not the touch he was looking for. It leaked out into the midfield. Mario, the shot was not exactly what he was looking for. Gengar into the corner. Pass that one over to J-Bar. Up high, Gengar dunked by Cheb. This is a scoring opportunity, and Coda's not going to miss that one. 2-0 for IU. Fantastic work by Cheb to get that one over, forcing Coda the ball in the right position as well. Just what you like to see from IU. A minute and three seconds left. They have to hold on. Skirt, a dangerous touch that he can follow, though. Is the important part there. Work left to be done for Western Michigan. They need two goals in 50 seconds now. A boost deal by Cheb. 
Maybar hits it. Dev trying to break out of his own half, and he's going to be rewarded with a goal. A solo play. His name changed to Lapuki Bear. I told him to change it, and it did for the first half of the game, so I'm not sure why it's Lapuki Bear now. But I'm sure he'll be laughing at that as he rewatches the series. 3 0 for IU, an excellent start. I know they were practicing a lot before this, and that one's going to be a kickoff goal. It's not quite over just yet. Western Michigan might have something to say. A close sheet from Mario, and then he bumps Skirt into it. It wouldn't have had a good shot otherwise. Just an unfortunate play. 34 seconds left. IU does not want to see this lead slip away. A safe kickoff required, and it's a neutral one. And Chev getting the boost is going to help out IU's chances greatly into the quarter. A tip out into the midfield. Skirt is there first. Can only put it to the side wall. A double tap to the corner, though. Here comes a passing play. J-Bar broken up by Coda. Chev over to the wall. A misread by Gengar. Chev flicks it by another. Can he get it past the last one? No, but he's able to kill so much time that Western Michigan desperately needed if they wanted to take game number one. So that's all they wrote for game number one. IU takes it convincingly. Exactly what the Hoosiers were looking for. And a great start out of them. Back in action for game number two. Ready to get underway. J Bar is going to be there first. Gengar puts it long. Trying to break out with a couple of passes. Over to the back wall. Oda a pop into the midfield. Deb is there waiting for it. He gets another touch. That was probably not what Koda was expecting. And a one-on-one -on -one skirt. Can he tuck it under the crossbar? No, but J-Bar's there to help him out. In the correct position, 4.32 in IUK, or IU rather, drops the first goal. A kickoff win for IU, and here they go attacking the left side. Western Michigan with a bit of real estate, but Mario wants to take it all away. A demo's going to help, but he can't push it past Gengar, who is waiting in the corner. Off the back wall now, Skirt has to get there first, which he does got not much boost left to work with. He can just put a shot low on the target. Sheb is there to help out on the defensive side for IU. They played a lot of defense and they may have to get used to it. Boost totals running thin. A double tap would have surely put it under the crossbar, but J-Bar is there to clean it up once more. Coda just not quite able to get through it. Two zero for Western Michigan. They win the kickoff. Doesn't quite go on target. Bump on to Mario. They could be searching for their third goal, which J-Bar puts in the hat trick. Only took him a minute and 16 seconds as well. An offensive explosion out of Western Michigan. IU going to have to come up with a new game plan to deal with it. Not the start they were looking for at all. Neutral kickoff. Gengar forces that into the blue half. Cheb with a full tank of boost. 50 on to J-Bar. Skirt is there first. Western Michigan playing much faster in a 1-2 passing play. Cut out by Coda. An air dribble opportunity for him. Is he going to go for the bump? Yes, he will, but he doesn't connect. 
This from J-Bar. Mario with not a lot of boost to work with. Going to be challenged by Skirt. This isn't scorable for Gengar, but he keeps it in the blue half plus the boost steal. IU needs to win the races to the boost, which they just haven't quite been able to do in this game. Demolition onto Cheb as well, and another boost steal by Skirt. It's getting dangerous now for IU. Minutes left to go. Three goals required. A flick over one. Koda now searching for the demo. Gengar faked out Sheb. Not sure if it was intentional or not. And now Mario is left in a two-on-one. Gengar was looking for the redirect. Unfortunately, put it high and cleared it away. Now Cheb with no more boost left to work with. Not sure if he got the flip reset or not. Ended up not using it either way. Mario with a 50 out into the midfield. Koda's there first. What can he do with the ball on top of his car? Flicks it up high. But J-Bar misses. Could Mario finish off the play? No, wasn't expecting that at all. So many chaotic opportunities that I use just not ready for. Both on the offensive and defensive end. Here comes Mario looking to break out. Center for a teammate, but it's kept away by Skirt, who's got the ball into the air. Going for the double tap off the backboard. No. No Western Michigan Broncos were there to try to help out. We just want to play a slow game, keep it in the IU half. It's worked out for them well so far. Two minutes elapsed. Two minutes left to go. Up high for Gengar. A double tap. This one's going to be wide open, and he's going to put it top left. Koda just a bit late to the ball. But if he doesn't go there, it's probably a goal either way. Two games in a row now where it just hasn't necessarily been very close. Which team will come through at game number three? Still possible for the Hoosiers in this one, but very unlikely. Chad would have to get them going right here in the corner. Gets the boost steal. IU uh, would love to set up on the orange half, which they have not done a, a whole lot in this series. Chad with a touch that he can follow, looking for a shot onto net. It's a bit slow. Forced out well by Western Michigan, who's stacking their defense effectively. Gengar now to the side wall. Not able to get the read. It went a little bit further down than he would have thought. Now Cheb all alone, but he's able to get a huge clear out where Mario wasn't able to make the follow-up happen, but Cheb can do it himself. The first goal for IU, and it might be a little bit too late. One minute left to go. IU going to need something off the kickoff right here. They do have it, and Cheb fakes out the last defender. He's going to put in a, a second goal just five seconds later. IU, they are not done with game number two just yet. A brilliant fake onto J-Bar. Sends him flying off screen, and Cheb going to put in the easiest shot of his, of his day so far. And now this kickoff spawn allowing for some variation out of IU. They don't decide to do anything too fancy. That might cost them here, but J-Bar loses control. Going to try to stick close. Coda doesn't want to see any of it, though. Cheb, he's put in two goals. They're going to need him for a bit more. Mario taken out of the play and a ground pinch from Gengar. Flying towards the IU net. Luckily, they had Cheb waiting for it. A Cheb pass, or Mario pass to Cheb in the midfield. The save gets sent flying over Mario. Cheb cutting rotation. Could he put a shot on net? Yes. But Gengar picks up another save. Leaking into the midfield, Shep puts it low. That's awkward to deal with, but a demolition going to take out the shooter for IU. And now an open net by Gengar. If he could tuck it under the crossbar, his second double tap is going to be equally as good as his first. The defense even showing a bit of a different look as Mario was taken out of the play. 14 seconds left. And unless a miracle happens, Western Michigan will have this easily enough. But Cheb off the kickoff. Almost saw another one, but Gengar picks up yet another save. He's been an excellent defensive player. He's put in some double taps to help get the win in game number two.
ready to start game three, both teams even at one game apiece. Both games have been back and forth starting in favor of IU. The next one heavily in favor of Western Michigan. Haven't seen a, cl a close game quite yet. And Gengar. He'd like to keep it at a sizable distance in favor of Western Michigan, who has all the momentum. Gengar has been all over the pitch, both offensively and defensively. The MVP for Western Michigan, and now IU has to battle back from behind once again. J-Bar linking up with Gengar, a quick one-two passing play. Now the ball high in the midfield. Mario can get there first. Off the ceiling, wants to put it past one, but it's not past Skirt, who puts a long shot onto net. Oda with a double tap off his own back wall. Gets another challenge as well. He can follow it up, but no boost to catch up now. A zap dash to get momentum. Now IU. Miscommunication there. Jeb and Mario each thought the other one was going to go. And neither of them ended up doing it. Here's a challenge, though. Oda puts that one over towards Cheb. It's awkward to deal with. All he can do is manage to get a soft touch out into the midfield. Here comes a passing play broken up by Cheb. Gengar, though, you don't want to see this man with the ball. Fakes it out this time. Didn't have enough boost to make a play directly on the ball. Cheb would like to carry it over a 50. We'll see Coda to it first. Mario has been the last line of defense for IU Cream so many times in this game. A lot of physical series just two days ago when they had Pablo playing instead of Cheb. Hasn't quite had the physicality that he did two days ago. Perhaps they could change something here. Looking to get involved. Mario sweeping through the back line. Didn't come up with any bumps or demos. It's able to stagnate the defense. I knew trying to set up camp in the orange half, but J-Bar just makes that so difficult. He just gets one, two small touches down the line. Gets a bump as well. Western Michigan didn't want to commit. Broncos playing a safe game now that they have the lead. Comes some demos, some pandemonium. Dakota wasn't able to flick it by one. A pop up top. It's going to get by J-Bar. This could be a chance for IU to break out. Who are they going to send at the ball? Mario, but he gets demolition. Coda will have to be the point man for IU. Here's a ball that's leaking out, though. Mario not able to get the touch. He wanted to hit that straight down, either for a teammate or just putting a shot on net. IU, that was their best offensive chance, and they come up well empty. Could they get a few more chances here soon? Coda with no boost. They're going to have to wait to break out. Chab just needs to get in the way of that ball, which he does effectively. It's in the corner, stagnated for now. Zayu is just not able to get good connections onto the ball. A save out of Mario, but it's not going to be enough. Or will it? As Koda has enough boost to break out, but Gengar, an immediate challenge. Coming off the ceiling. Western Michigan has had the read in game one, or games two and three, rather. Indiana had the read completely in game number one. But here comes an attempted passing play. It's broken up again. The Broncos just seem to have every counter that IU wants to send at them. Western Michigan just is one step ahead at all times. The Cheb changed that. He's got 40 boosts to work with, and a demolition from Coda out of nowhere opens up the net, and Cheb recognized it. Excellent demolition. Skirt going off the ceiling because he wants to force it low where a teammate would have been normally. A minute and 27 left, and we've got a close game for game number three. The golf win. We go back towards J-Bar, but he's not got the best control that he would have liked. Skirt will keep it close. Trying to break out himself. He's got the flip to work with, but Mario was in the perfect position to deal with it. Coda faking out J-Bar. Now he's got space and time. A pinch, not past Gengar. Gengar most notably known for a few things. His 1v1 prowess, his car designs, and his camera settings. But here, 
He's making a name for himself in the 3v3 field. Ball gets past J-Bar. Mario sweeping through, or Coda rather. Wasn't able to find any demos to open up the net. Mario, a big boom downfield. Coda might fake that one out. 30 seconds left. Back and forth ball game. It's been chaotic in the midfield. Very back and forth. Neither team able to get control as of the last 30 seconds. The team's fighting more for position rather than ball control, it seems. Here comes Cheb racing down the left side. Not able to beat J-Bar. A pass into the midfield. Could either team get a buzzer beater? Skirt would certainly like to try, but Gengar's not able to get the extending touch. Skirt with the ball on top of his hood. Cheb is there to carry it to safety. He wants to kill it, and he will. Overtime in game number three. Boots will kick off. Mario not able to connect. Coda in the midfield, however, can. Sticking close to the ball. No boost to work with. A 50-50 is about as best as he can get. Doesn't come up with a boost deal either. This puts Mario in a relatively awkward position, but he does extremely well with it. Into the orange half. Coda with a free touch. Wants to find Mario to his right. Missed the wave dash. Would have tried to extend the offensive play if he had landed it. Now IU back on their own half. Shot deflected by J-Bar. Mario gets bumped. He's trying to break out, but he's harassed by all three Broncos. Just couldn't find the space that he needed. Odo will keep it in the midfield for now, but J-Bar is waiting. To the backboard of IU. Mario trying to land on it, trying to find a, dump, a bump on the J-Bar or Gengar. He gets the save. Still though, still though, quality opportunities for IU. More demos. This time Mario getting physical. It worked well for them two days ago. Starting to turn things around for IU. A game win here would be crucial in this best of five. The winner going on to match point. Whoever can put in the next goal. It might be Gengar, though. Cheb in an awkward spot, and there's too many attacking options. Couldn't defend all of them. Bottom of the net, 90 seconds into overtime. Indiana will drop game three. They need two in a row if they want to stay alive in the upper bracket. On the bright side for Indiana, though. They were able to figure out a winning strategy with the physical play. Could we see more of that for Game 4? The game typically played on Utopia Coliseum. This time, the entire series, it seems, will be played on this map. Guard down low, Coda. Playing some immediate defense. This is where IU has spent a lot of time started to figure out something in that overtime. Fortunately for them, they didn't get the final goal that they were after. They'll have to battle back from behind for the first time in the series. A game disadvantage for the Hoosiers. Chab getting involved physically, taking out Gengar. Back pass towards Koda. Into the corner, Gengar is there waiting. Has to use up a lot of boost to get back to that touch. Mario misses. The ball sent flying back towards the blue half where Code is there waiting. A couple of chain dashes off the wall, a low shot. Not testing Western Michigan as much as he would have liked. Gengar surrounding the ball. It's been a nuisance for IU to deal with. Skirt here with a chance. Coda cuts it out. Chad pops it up high. Could he go for this one himself? Yes, but he didn't have a whole lot of boost to work with. Western Michigan was all over that attacking opportunity. Here comes Chad, though, brings it low, immediately cut out by Skirt. Photo with a pinch off his own corner. J Bar looking to connect with a teammate in the midfield. Nobody there waiting. 
central pass dealt with for now. The Hoosiers are in a bit of trouble here, panicking on the goal line. Trying to determine which player is the appropriate one to take out the defense. It'll be Chev to carry the ball out. No boost to work with. He can only keep it to the back wall. A couple of misses out of the Broncos, but it'll help as Gengar, the man you want with the ball, is right there. Dakota with no boost, wants to take it up to the left wall. Nobody jumping just yet for the Broncos. Can Kota make them pay? Nearly could. Most threatening chance that IU has had, and Gengar with a ground pinch gets it under Mario. The last line of defense for the Hoosiers. The last thing that Mario expected as Gengar lands on the ball. Fortunate as Indiana has to battle back in game four. They were able to tie it up in game three. Kickoff goal would certainly help their chances, but they're not going to get it there. Denied by Skirt. Here comes the Indiana Swarm. But they're just giving up a little bit too much space as J-Bar takes full control of it. A bar down shot. Gengar sets him up. J-Bar, a player of his caliber, isn't going to miss that one. The lead doubled up for Western Michigan. They win this and they move on to the top four in the upper bracket. Where they would face off likely against Columbia if seeding is to go by. We aren't sure of the results, but Kota is sure that that one's going to go in. One goal now needed. Gengar tried to double it up immediately after. IU escapes. Here comes some offensive presence out of IU. Koda gets it into the corner. Looking for a midfield pass. It's been Koda and Chev working well together on the offensive side. Mario, the third man. Can he clean it up? A bump is going to help. Not sure if Chev was looking for it. But that's exactly what he got. Flick onto one Gengar. Not the touch he was after. We do have some updates score-wise. Columbia College, Navy, their uh, first team. 3-0 over Davenport Red. Siena Heights University, 3-0 over Oakland. They will face off against each other in the winner's semifinals. Still waiting on the winner of Columbia Silver versus Michigan State. That one could be a close series as we're seeing here. Indiana can't afford to think about the next opponent. They've got the tie. The momentum swinging in their favor. They need everything that they can get. Perhaps a Chev solo play. Pops it up high. Gets the dunk onto J-Bar. It just goes 50-50 straight up and down. Testing with a long shot. It's going to be dealt with before anything too threatening can amount. Gengar, a double tap, puts it to the corner. Western Michigan is all over this. 1-2-1-2. One, two, one, two. Gengar scores. Western Michigan has just had so many awkward touches. Keeping it central. 50 seconds left. IU has to figure something out immediately. Kickoff goes straight to the sidewall. Gengar is there first. What can IU come up with? 37 seconds left, and Cheb saw Gengar coming. But there's not much you can do about it. Gengar just seems to have a better read on the, the pitch than everybody else does at the moment. Has certainly been the star player, the shining out of the six. Gengar off the ceiling again. You never want to see him coming towards your net if you're IU. IU's tried to make it happen with the teamwork. And in 10 seconds, they're going to need everything that they can get. Chev will keep it in the orange half. 
Hagar is there first. Coda off the side wall. It's got to be kept up by Mario, but it's only sent flying towards his own net. Gengar kills it. GG's. Western Michigan moves on 3-1. to one.